a lot of excitement happens in the lab. Um, in fact, um, through various um, through through various videos, this is one thing that I continuously try and aim to do is to educate our patients what exactly happens in the lab. And trust me, the journey is very, very exciting. As an embryologist, I feel that I'm in one of the best, best professions that I could have ever asked to be in, simply because not only are we helping patients, but the microbiology that we do under the microscope in the lab is absolutely fascinating. So what happens in the lab? A lot happens. So let me run through the journey. And this might be a very long-winded answer, but I'll try and summarize it. So day zero is when we get the eggs collected. On day zero, we put the eggs and sperm together. The same morning, the male partner will produce a sperm sample. We will wash the sperm in the laboratory. Uh, if we're using donor sperm, then we'll use frozen donor sperm to, of course, create embryos. As I said earlier, we put the sperm and eggs together and achieve or try and achieve fertilization. The next day, which is called day one in embryology terms, we expect to see the eggs fertilized. Typically, we expect 70, 75 to 80% of the eggs to fertilize. Then we would observe the embryos the following day, which is day two. The embryo should be between two and five cells in development. The following day after, which is day three, i.e. 72 hours after insemination, we expect the embryo to be between six to 10 cells in development. And of course, at every stage, the embryologist is assessing how these embryos are looking, how the cells are looking, um, how clean the embryos are, are they fragmented? And they should be keeping updating the patient on what they're observing. And so that's day three. And another two days later, i.e. five days later, after the egg collection, the embryo should have reached what we call the blastocyst stage, when the embryo should have over 120 or 140 cells in development. So continuously in that journey of five days, there's a lot of action happening in the lab whereby your embryologist is continuously observing your embryos via or through all the technology that they have in the laboratory, including such as time-lapse imaging, which is giving so much information about your embryos, helping the embryologist compare and select which embryo they like to transfer into the uterus. So the embryologist is that unsung hero behind the scenes who is working very hard after your egg collection, identifying so much information from your embryos in order to call you back and select the right embryo for transfer.